Welcome back to the Jeremy Hill Show. I'm glad to see that you have returned. Today's subject is simply this, high value men image. Your image is one of the most important tools that you have in your bag of success. The way that you dress can move you forward or pull you backwards. Why? Because people do judge you, and for many, perception is reality, and this is the reason why stereotypes have so much power. Now, before I go any further, this seems like something that you like to hear about. Do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe. I'm going to be covering two parts of image, and here it is. The first part of image is simply this, the presentation of self on a consistent basis. The way you dress, whether or not if you are more of a traditional conservative type dress person, or if you're a person who has a style personality that is very liberal, meaning that you dress for flair, meaning that you dress to provoke a certain type of emotion from other people. However you carry yourself in the way that you dress is how people are going to judge you. Now, personally, I encourage all people of color, minorities especially, to not dress in urban clothing. I know you're not going to like it, but let me explain why I said that. For some reason, a lot of urban clothing have a lot of negative attention. A lot of negative stigmas have been attached to the word urban. And unfortunately, sometimes the word urban simply means black or poor or whatever it may be. Urban communities, urban style of dressing. No. If you dress casually, meaning that you're dressing things with loafers, with jeans, Chelsea boots, um, suede wallaby boots, or stuff like that, people tend to think that you are more inviting. And from my own personal experiences, people who have money and want to network with others, and when they see people dress in urban fashion, meaning skinny jeans that are sagging, baggy jeans that are sagging, um, do-rags, gold teeth, Things like that, that, which is a stereotype, they run people off. They don't want to do business with you. And you may have a heart of gold, but based on your appearance, they, they do not want to do any business with you. They don't want to network with you. They don't want to even get to know you in some cases. So again, for many, perception is reality. So I encourage people to dress casually. It can be anywhere from sport casual. It can be business casual or just casual, or it can be anything up to suits. But I strongly recommend that you don't wear the traditional Nikes and the things that are associated with drug dealers or anything. And just being honest with you, dress in such a way that people feel, I would like to talk to that man. I think he's not threatening because a lot of times people don't talk to you because you have an intimidating way of dressing, a way of fashion that is intimidating to people. And I'm just being honest with you. So... I will tell you the second part of image is reputation. People seeing you before they see you. What are people saying about you? Because if you have a bad reputation, for example, for doing business, if you have a bad reputation for messing people over that choose to get into a contractual agreement with you, then when you show up, no matter if you're in an Armani suit and have $8,000 shoes on in a nice business suit, they will not deal with you because your reputation is also a part of your image. So the things that you do to other people also shape your image. So dress in a way that is non-threatening. I'm told you on um, with loafer, with boots, denim jeans. Also, another thing for presentation of self is cologne. Start setting yourself apart from the pack by putting on cologne. Things that bring attention to you in a positive way helps your image. When you're not around, people will say, hey, you know Jeremy Hill? Yeah, Jeremy Hill, that guy, man, he had a nice smelling cologne or what that was. You know, he dressed real nice. He's very mannerable. He's very articulate. He's very, this is a part of your image. Now, once that person said those same things I just said about myself, hypothetically, to someone else, before I meet them, they're already going to have some kind of positive ideal about me because my reputation is helping my image. So again, people do judge you based on what you wear. It's just what it is. You may not like it. It is what it is. This is why you have women that get so upset about why are you calling me a whore and all this stuff, but you're dressing like a whore. I give one last example of that. You wouldn't go to a fireman to report a crime because he's dressed like a fireman, but you will go to a policeman and report a crime because he's dressed like a policeman. So dress for the part. 
Dress for the job that you want. Dress for the reputation that you want. Success has an image. Success leaves clues behind. And one of the biggest clues is image. High value men understand the concept of image. It is powerful. When you, um, excuse me. <clears throat> For a man, the most powerful image you can have is that of wearing a suit. Because a suit is culturally, let's say culturally neutral. What do I mean? You could be from the hood and someone come into the hood with a nice suit, they would look at that man in that suit and say, that's a nice suit, that's respectful, how he looks, stuff like that. But at the same time, I can go to a white collar job, I can go to the suburbs and wear a suit and they would think the same thing that the people in the hood think because a suit has power. It brings attention and most importantly, it brings respect. It shows that you are serious about whatever it is you're trying to do. A suit matters. So every man should have a suit. More than three. You should get the right shoes to go with that. If you want to do business, do it in a suit. Would you do business with somebody that's wearing some flip flops and a tank top for a multi-million dollar anything? No, you wouldn't. Another thing, how you groom your hair. That's a part of your image. You notice that we have never had a, we have never had a president with a mohawk. And you're not going to have one because you wouldn't take him seriously. Certain hairstyles bring a certain type of respect. I know black folks ain't going to hear this, but it's true. Even your dreads sometimes can hold you back from job opportunity. All them dreads and stuff. And then the smells you men have sometimes. If you are one of these people who have baggy jeans or, or two little skinny jeans with these bright colors and you smell like marijuana, ain't nobody trying to take you seriously. I wouldn't take you seriously. I want to get away from you. Certain images have negative stereotypes attached to them. That's why I say stay away from urban clothing. Now, that, does that mean everyone is like that? No, but that's just reality. So again, and if you like this content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and share it. Thank you for this. Talk to you later.